you will find that there are only three main sewing skills that you really need to develop uh, to become that great sewist that you dream of. I mean, make anything that you can dream of in your mind, you can sew it. So in today's video, let's talk about what these three main skills are because each of them unlock a new level to your sewing that just make your garments the quality unbelievable. So you get a big picture view of where you're headed on your sewing journey and make it a little bit faster than perhaps mine was. Welcome back, my dear sewing friends. It is delightful to have you here. Uh, if you're brand new, welcome. My name's Evelyn Wood and I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com. It's my online school where I teach, have hundreds of members uh, where like learn and develop their sewing skills. And well, here on this channel, we talk everything garment sewing. So if you haven't already do, check down below and check that you're subscribed because uh, that's, I know you're looking at this video because you're interested in making your garments better. So have a look below, hit the subscribe button. Okay, uh, I hear this a lot from uh, different sewists uh, as we're learning, as we're developing. I've seen it in my own sewing journey and I've been able to boil it down after all these years of teaching and my own sewing journey, as I said, three main sewing skills that really constitute like where we're headed on our sewing journey to be that great dressmaker, that great seamstress that we want to be. I know you have great dreams for your sewing to be that great sewist, that great dressmaker, seamstress, we often describe our grandparents um, as being this, I think, and that's where the vintage comes into it for me and what I do, in that you can basically make anything that you can dream of in your mind. You can actually make it happen into a garment. That's what we're dreaming of, right? I know that was what I dreamed of, and I bet that's what you dream of too. And it's absolutely not a pipe dream. You can do it. Sewing is just a skill that anyone can learn. I say it takes patience, practice, and persistence. The three Ps, that is my golden <laughs> rule to learn. And there are three main skills, as I said. They're kind of like milestones, like, and they build on each other. So the first one and gets you to sort of a certain level. And once you get it, it's like the world, the sewing world opens up and your garments and your sewing goes to just a whole new level. And the next one builds on those skills that you've already made. And the next one builds on those. And each one is like a new step, a new level that the quality and the look of your garments are just going to exceed your expectations and open up, as I said, a whole new level as you get each of these skills. Now, these are not specific skills. They are sort of, it's a broad range of look, a broad view, particularly to have a good look at your sewing journey ahead. So you know where you're headed. It makes it a lot easier and a lot simpler. I wish that I had this sort of, uh, someone telling me these types of things when I was learning to sew. So that is what I do here, of course. What are they? Now these are in order. And the first one is accuracy at the sewing machine. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's sewing is a lot of skills. <laughs> sewing is one and there's other ones coming up which they build on each other. The first one is accuracy at the sewing machine, as I said. What do I mean? I mean, the ability to uh, sew anything. So when you're at the sewing machine, actually be able to feed it through, ease in amounts, not get bubbles, bumps, stop exactly where you want, sew so straight lines, sew exactly where you want. When something goes wrong, you know how to fix it. Pinning and just being able to actually manipulate the fabric and you tell the fabric what to do. You're not just sitting there and just saying, go, go, go. And it just sews and you just kind of end up and you're like, oh, look what happened. You're telling it what to do and you're making the results from the skills that you learn in being able to, to manipulate the fabric. As I said, you tell that fabric what to do. So accuracy at the sewing machine is one of the first, is the first skill that you really learn. And obviously that encompasses all the different sewing techniques. But the skill at the sewing machine is the first one because once you, you know, everything builds on that further and that leads us to our next one. Once you master that accuracy at the sewing machine, the next skill level that you sort of go to is order of construction. And of course, you can only know order of construction once you know how to sew and you've got the sewing down pat. As I said, these build on each other. Once you get to this level, you, your sewing's looking good, right? And then you're starting to put garments together and you're learning the order of construction. So what order do things get sewn in? You have, do your side seams first or the dart first? You know, you have to do a bust dart before you can actually sew your side seams, etc., etc. And 
as you go through this level, you really start to like your pattern instructions that, you know, that long list of sometimes very confusing pattern instructions, you can start to make your own up so you can get those and like put them to the side, use it as a reference and really start to learn your own process, your own order of construction and do things in a way that you want to do. You can start choosing the different sewing techniques, the different finishes that you want, and just you can actually start choosing how you want it to turn out. And this is a great level to be at and is really fun learning journey in learning the order of construction and being able to like sew things the way that you want them. As your sewing journey continues, the next skill that I think that we get to and that we build upon is then pattern adjusting, pattern making, pattern modifications, fitting, whatever you want to call it, that is the next level on this. And of course, you can really only start adjusting patterns and making them different. Uh, if you make your own patterns, the, the pattern that you make doesn't come with sewing instructions, right? So you already need to know how to sew things together, i.e. order of construction. The second skill we just talked about, this one builds on there. Once you know how things are sewn together, adjusting patterns is quite easy because you know what should be there to be able to sew it, right? As I said, they all build on each other. So the pattern adjusting, the pattern fitting stage. We all know sewing is actually learning two skills and that is sewing and pattern fitting and pattern adjusting. This is where you really unlock the next level in your sewing and really being able to uh, alter your patterns be it for just to fit you right, be it to change the design a little bit, tweak them, mush two different designs together. This kind of level is obviously unlimited. There's no end. You keep mastering these skills as you go along in your sewing journey. But this is where, as I said, your garments will really start to build into something else and you can really start creating those garments of your dream and getting the results that you once upon a time only dreamed of, but that is only because you built those other two skill levels at the same time. And this one is where, you know, the next level uh, that we go to. So you can really make all of those uh, fitting adjustments. So knowing how to actually pin something on a garment, on your toile, your mock-up, and know how to make those changes to your actual pattern. And then maybe even mush two patterns together, as I said, and get really tricky because you're understanding how the patterns work, how they should be sewn together, what makes sense, they need to be the same size, the measurements, all that sort of thing, that all comes into that next skill level. And as I said, Unfortunately, though, it is what well, I say fortunately, because that is the fun journey of sewing. The learning never ends. I think we continue on this sort of level forever and we just keep building on all of these skills really as we progress. But that is sort of the uh, that last big hurdle, the last big skill that I think that we bring into our sewing. I think of them like mountains uh, to, to cross in our sewing journey. You've got those three sort of mastery type um, levels. Obviously there's many levels in between those, but they're the ones that I think I found. And at each stage I found the greatest, as I said at the beginning, kind of like unlocking a new level to your sewing and learning to sew in that process. It's like unlocking. So when you learn that, uh, you know, just the mastering your sewing machine, it's like, yes, I actually made something that I feel proud of that looks nice. <laughs> and then when you start learning order of construction, you think, yes, I actually want to do a different type of hem. I'm going to choose a different type of hem. And I want to do a different type of zip on this. So I'm going to choose a different type of zip because I know I can. And then when you get to the next level and start adjusting the patterns, you know, it's another hallelujah type moment when you can make that pattern that fits you and you can make the adjustments and you start seeing the things that you need to chop and change and really create that garment that like that style that you had in your mind comes out and you're able to create it when you get through these three levels, these three skills, these three mountains of skills. I think it's been a fun journey for me and I hope for you too. I would love to know which kind of mountain, which hurdle are you at at the moment and what do you uh, struggle with the most in there at the, at, at current? I would love to hear it because you never know, I might just make a video about it. Do leave those comments below. I really look forward to reading them and remember, read them too. There's a wealth of knowledge down there from our fellow sewists in this community. We are on this sewing journey together. Until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.